Welcome. So what exactly does a solution mean? And a solution um, pretty much means the same thing as you know we'll, we'll get into different courses. But I want to talk about what is a solution going to mean for a linear equation. Um, and when we're looking into a linear equation, remember going back to exactly a just a, a generic equation. And if I have 3 is equal to 3, we know that equation is true. We know 3 is equal to 3. Um, but when we start getting into variables, that's when we start talking about a solution. Because the variables, x, y, z, w, h, p, k, whatever variable we want to use, that is what we call an unknown. And we use the variables um, to represent our unknown. What is it we don't know the value of? So the solution is pretty much telling us the value of the variable that makes the equation true. I'll say that again. The solution of an equation is telling us what is the value of the variable that makes the equation true. So if I was to say this out loud, you know, x equals 3, what's going to make this equation true? What value for x? Well, I could say when x is the value of 3, that makes it true. Because if I said x was 4, that would not make the equation true. right? So when we're getting into 5x minus 17 equals 34, um, you know, when we get into this, actually, let's, let's do something simple, because I just made up some kind of weird one. So let's say you know, 3x equals 12. So basically, what this equation is saying is 3 times what number is going to equal 12? And a lot of for the simpler, especially one step and two steps, a lot of the times we can just do these in your head. And we don't want to apply the operations. Um, but I'll explain why applying the operations become very helpful. So first of all, a lot of you can say, well, 3 times what number equals 12? Oh, well, I know the answer. x is equal to 4. And you totally want to bypass you know, what we learn in one step equations course. But that is what the, rep that is what the solution represents. Um, however, sometimes doing problems in your head is not going to be so simple. You know, let's say I have 3x minus 4 minus um, x equals 13x plus 1. So here you could say, well, now if I want to find the solution, I don't know if x is, is the value of x is 4. I don't know if the value of x is 1. So we want to apply our operations in these courses to be able to say, all right, what is the value of x that's going to make the left side equal to the right side? All right, And so all right, you know, what we want to do is get that variable by itself and then see what value does that variable equal. And that's going to be the value that's going to make the left side equal to the right side. Um, however, we'll learn how to solve one of those courses in my multi-step equations. So don't worry so much. Um, and we'll also learn how to do this uh, step by step. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a basic understanding of what exactly is a variable. Thanks.